Yeah. Yep. So it'll be time to. Sorry, one quick thing. A couple of times you went down like this to read and talk. Yeah. And it goes a little. All right. Okay. 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 I can lean back a little more. I can lean back a little bit more. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Sit up a little bit. Let me see. All right. Hi. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 Do we have an accent this time? A caffeinated approach. <laughs> hey, we got to help you be healthy. No, 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 no. Still have a life. Uh. Welcome to How to Be Healthy, the Southern version, <laughs> brought to you by Gary's Grits. <laughs> we really don't know what grits are, but we put them on that grill. What do you got for, um, what are we doing here? Stuff, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph the wide-reared reindeer had a very rounded butt And if you ever saw it, you could say that it would jut, jut out All of the other reindeer used to laugh and give him crap They never let up on Rudolph, he'd get depressed and take a nap then one icy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your butt so wide, helps to make a safer ride. Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph, the wide reared reindeer, can you make a butt for me? I that Rudolph, he had the white of beer. I mean, he was just kind of a big guy, you know what I'm saying? He was strong, but man, they used to hassle him all the time. And he, you know, he could eat, but he worked out and stuff. And they used to call oh, the things they would call him. It was, it was like, it's like I just, I, I can't believe it. Hey, where are the elves? Oh, I don't know. They're hanging, whatever. Then one icy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your butt so wide, helps to make a safer ride. Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph, the wide-reared reindeer, can you make a safer butt for me? I'm here with Steve Nichols, and Steve is the president of Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder is a very interesting uh, fireman-like device. That, that, uh, that, that, that's what I, I had a ride on it the other day. And Steve, tell us a little bit about it. Um, I know you talked to me yesterday, and you mentioned uh, about how it's a really nice, low-impact workout. Tell us a little bit. You can just show us, point us uh, to your device here. We're getting a total body uh, workout. We're incorporating the upper body and the, and the movement of the, uh, the function of the machine. And as Barry mentioned, uh, there's, no, there's no stress or impact on the lower back because you're supporting your upper body weight with your arms. Uh, there's no stress on the knees. Your knees are uh, behind you and uh, kind of pushing back and, you're, and your legs come down to, um, to meet the rungs as opposed to a stepper machine where it's pushing your leg back up. Um, so we're getting a very efficient total body workout. And by uh, when I say efficient, I mean that um, it gets your heart rate up quite quickly and easily with uh, with a very slow perceived uh, exertion. You're looking good, Barry. You look good on this. Right. You're a little, a little tense. There's a learning curve on this. Yeah, I feel um, that I have to. I'm watching my feet a little right, bit. Right, right. It's like riding are. a bicycle. After you've yeah, done it once yeah. or twice, you kind of forget about yeah. looking around and you forget you can do it with your eyes closed. You don't, you don't need to be watching your hands all the time. Yeah. But uh, you, 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 need, you need to say anything, Barry? 
Oh, you're yeah, hand me that can of paint. Ah, can of paint. All right. He's doing good. Feeding yourself to fuel yourself for your work, mm -hmm. your life, and for your exercise. If I put lousy food in, I'm going to get uh, have a lousy workout and have a lousy day and have a lousy meeting mm -hmm. because I haven't given myself the proper fuel to energize my workout, yep. my day, my life. So again, the food food comes in not you know in, in two ways. Again, to 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 get me through the day and also in terms of do I need body fat to lose? Or on the flip side of that, I've worked with people that are underweight. Yeah, we need to use food to get some size on them because they're yes. underweight. They, they 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 have a strength deficit um, mm -hmm. in in all areas of their body. So we're trying to put size on them. So I need to make sure that they're eating enough food and eating the right kinds of food. And that's also true of the woman trying to lose weight. What she'll say is that, well, geez, maybe I should cut back on my calories. And this is a woman who's let's say exercising regularly. Well, actually. You need, it's more important that you eat. You need to eat, but the key is what you eat, the quality of the right. food you eat. And when someone exercises, it's actually even more important that they eat good quality so, food. So again, like, like I just said, again, to fuel the workout um, mm -hmm. and to feel better so I have enough energy to do the workout. Um, and the other thing I'll tell people, is I'm trying to make it very simple. If I need, just for a round figure, if I need 2,000 calories a day to maintain my body weight, Okay, without exercise, if I was just going to lie on the couch today and watch TV, and I needed 2,000 calories to maintain my body weight, and now I decide I'm going to do an aerobics class and I'm going to expend an hour's worth of energy, and I've only consumed 1,500 calories for that particular day, so I needed 2,000 calories just to survive, I worked all day long, and I took an aerobics class, and I only ate 1,500 calories. Well, I've essentially just slowed my body down because I didn't have enough energy to rev it up enough, which is the exact opposite of what I want to do. I want to lose weight, so I need to keep it revved up. I need to get it to be like a furnace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. I'll, uh, yeah, here, sure. I'll sign. Yep. Great there. Okay. Great. Hey, great. Thank you very much. Hello. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. I'm just getting a workout in before I got to get out of here. Yeah, I know. I know. Busy, busy, busy. Another day at the, oh, wait, hey, I got to go. I, I'm, I better get going, but I'm uh, my cell phone's ringing, so I'll talk to you later. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hey, yeah, Joe. Yeah, You've yeah got I'm mail. coming in. I'll be in, uh, be in about 15 minutes just trying to get a workout in. So I'll see you in a few. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. 